Hey there! Hello and welcome to the technical section of Biopandit. This is Saurav, your very own Mahapandit, with you today. I am going to show you how to perform a pairwise global alignment of two protein sequences using Needleman Unsho algorithm. This analysis has two parts. First, to download two protein sequences from public databases. We are going to use bacterial elongation factor sequence. This protein is crucial to the elongation phase of mRNA translation into functional proteins. We are going to collect its sequences for two bacteria, Escherichia coli and Thermus thermophilus. The second part is to perform the alignment. Needleman Unsho algorithm is implemented in needle program included in the EMBOSS package. Now, what is EMBOSS? EMBOSS is the European Molecular Biology Open Software Suite. So, let us collect our sequences. First, we go to Uniprot database. This is the largest database of all biological proteins. We go to the advanced search. First, we select protein name, which is elongation factor in our case. Next, we select organism. The first organism is Escherichia coli. Now hit the search button. It shows you documented elongation factor sequences for different E. coli strains. Select any one and go to the entry page. Scroll down and this is how you download the sequence in faster format. Now let me perform the same operation for Thermos thermophilus. Now we need our alignment program. Needleman Unsho algorithm is implemented in MBOSS program. MBOSS has a standalone version and a web server version. The Windows standalone version can be downloaded from this link. Obviously, it requires a 32 bit Java being pre installed in your computer. Alternatively, you can go to this online server to perform the same operation. We always prefer and recommend using the standalone programs. So, giving the input in MBOS standalone program is quite simple. You open the graphical user interface and you find your program needle. Two options, that is, two sequences are needed. You can either browse your sequence file or simply can copy and paste your sequences. Then you simply select your substitution matrix file, gap opening and gap extension penalties. Set the execution mode to interactive and hit the go button. See, a new window has appeared with your alignment. There are gaps, obviously. Those represent evolutionary insertion and deletions. The method to use the web server is pretty much the same. You provide two sequences in the two boxes. You hit the more options button. Set up your substitution matrix and gap opening and gap extension penalties and hit the submit button.
say that the program provides you the alignment length which is the total number of amino acids in the sequences plus the total number of gaps introduced to align. The number of gaps are mentioned. The alignment is provided in a visually enriched way. You can actually compare visually the similarities and dissimilarities between two sequences. See that in an alignment column, if identical amino acids are present in the two proteins, there is a straight vertical line. The number of total vertical lines represent the total number of identical amino acids in the sequence and if you divide this number with the alignment length, you obtain the percent identity, which is 70.2% here. The higher the identity, the more conserved is your sequence. If amino acids are different but their chemical properties are same, you will see two dots. Take for example the second position of the alignment. E. coli includes serine and thermos thermophilus includes alanine. Both are hydrophobic. The number of double dots plus the number of identity divided by the alignment length represents the sequence similarity. This is another measure of sequence conservation. If their chemical properties differ, you will find only one dot. So one dot basically means a significant dissimilarity between two sequences. So this is all for now guys. For further information on structural biology, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the red gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our videos, please hit the like button and if you find it helpful, please share with your friends. For the upcoming updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys, see you soon.